Hi, I'm Heather Fleming from the Custom Wig Company, and today we are going to show you a brief tutorial for how to put on your wig, beard, and mustache. We're going to start with the beard first. It's important that your hair be combed back from your hairline, your face be clean and free from any moisturizers or oil, and that you remove your glasses in order to have access to your skin and temples. You're going to start with the beard, and if your beard is on an elastic, you can just pull it over the head and secure it in place. If it's not on an elastic, you're going to start with the chin and work your way up to the temples with glue. So settle it onto your face. Make sure that your chin is sitting neatly in the pocket of the beard. Make sure the temples are sitting in the correct place relative to your own ears. Make sure it feels right. Take a good look at it in the mirror. Look at the sides and the front. Once you're sure that it's in the right place and everything feels correct, you're going to take your glue and you're going to apply a thin layer starting under the chin and lip area, peel the piece up, apply a thin layer of glue. You don't need to use a lot of glue to get a good adhesive. You're going to let the area set up for just a moment and get tacky. And once it's tacky, you're going to very gently press the piece into it. You can use a sponge or a piece of silk to help press the piece in without getting glue on your fingers. It's important to press the piece firmly and to check to make sure there's no gapes or areas around the mouth where the beard is not sticking correctly. Feel free to move your mouth, open and close, or speak at this point to make sure that everything is adhered the way it needs to be. You can use glue in other spots if you need to for further contact, and some of that will depend on your situation and your needs. But the important area is going to be around the mouth, so you have full articulation and speaking ability. Once that feels like it is set up securely and it's not going to move around or wiggle on you, you can move on to putting your wig on. You're going to put the wig on by pulling it over your head, and it's important to look in the mirror when you do this to make sure you have the piece on correctly and that you're centering it in the right spot and that it's sitting correct relative to your own hairline. You're always going to want the lace and the final row of knots to be in just in front of your own hair, just a, a touch, not very far. When you pull it on, you can check and make sure that it seems like it's sitting correctly and looks proportional and in the right spot and that the sideburns line up with the sideburns on the beard. You can feel free to arrange it, check for centering, and settle it into place. It'll feel like it's in the right spot when everything is sitting and the lace is laying flat. If you have any gaping or puckering, it may be an indicator that the wig is not quite in the correct place. Once you're sure it's in the right spot, you're going to glue the temples and that's generally the only place most people need to do any glue. You just want to lift up the temple, apply a thin layer of glue there, let it get tacky, just like with the beard, and then press the wig down into it. You may discover that you need to do a dot or two of glue along the forehead, but that probably won't be necessary in most instances. It's okay if the lace of your wig overlaps the lace of your beard. That's fine. You can just go ahead and glue the lace down over your beard. It's going to make for a more seamless transition if that happens. You're going to glue both sides down and make sure they are sitting firmly. Once you have the pieces glued in place, at that point, you can go ahead and start arranging the hair a little bit, make sure everything is smooth, make sure that the hair is laying the way you want it to, make sure the beard and the wig are playing nicely together. You may want to arrange or adjust the hair a bit uh, as you need to. When you have your wig and beard in place, you're going to go ahead and start with the mustache. And the mustache, you're going to apply a thin layer of glue to the upper lip and let it get tacky. And letting it get tacky before you put it on is very important, as that's what's going to make it actually stick. If you try to stick the mustache onto spirit gum that's very wet, it's going to just come right back off. So once the glue on your upper lip is tacky, which shouldn't take more than a few seconds, you're going to press the mustache into it and use your sponge or your silk again so you don't get glue on your fingers. And you want to go ahead and cover the whole area of your upper lip where the mustache is going to sit because you want to make sure that the entire mustache is glued down. Line the mustache up under your nose in the correct spot. You want to make sure it's centered and in the right place. And once you feel like it's really set up and it feels like it's on very securely and it's in place, then you can arrange the shape of your mustache. And you might want to arrange the handlebars if you have them or otherwise place the ends or style it into your beard as you like. When you have everything in place, you can put your glasses on. And it's really important when you put your glasses on over a wig and beard to make sure that you put the earpieces on over your wig lace and into the wig hair. But it's going to feel like they ought to go underneath the lace because you are used to feeling them that way. 
which are actually going to slide them over the lace and then above your ears as normal. And so you might want to practice a couple times to get comfortable with it and then arrange the hair once the glasses are on and you will be all ready to go. This is Heather Fleming from CustomWigCompany.com. We hope you've enjoyed this video. You can find out more about our work at CustomWigCompany.com. Thank you so much.